What's going on, everybody? So, uh, making a few knives, and right now I'm just sanding this down from an 80 grit to 150, 220, 300. And thought you might want to check it out. This is my makeshift uh, knife vise here. It's just my granite or marble. Uh, rock and then I squeeze it down with a clamper hold my knife in place so I can hand sand this guy and this is 80 grit 3M sandpaper and this wood here is uh, I don't know how you pronounce it Paddock, African paddock, hardwood, not the hardest wood, but it's hardwood. I'll probably get this going and uh, fast forward here. But Man, that looks good. I've never really used this wood before. Check this one here is uh, leopard wood. It's got spots. So then I stain, I burn this side a little bit to bring out the a little bit of the wood grain. So that one's pretty cool. And then I got cherry wood. I just left this one natural. Just put a little oil. Cherry wood. Uh, this is Winge. Winge is one of the hardest woods. It's up there with hickory and maple. It's kind of hard to work with, but this is leopard wood. Leopard wood right here. Also, this this is a cool one. It's a orange Osage, orange Osage wood. This is Osage also, but I burned it a little bit. Give it a little toasty color on the end. Thought that looks kind of cool. And I made this sheet just recently. Hot off the press, yo. And then this one is also winch. Got a little inventory going here for uh, Saturday. Got a little gun knife show in uh, little gun knife show in Burleson. It's North Texas, just south of Fort Worth. Oh, so, so this is a three hundred or three twenty. Yeah, three twenty grit.
That looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same to the other side and then uh, bring you back. Oops. Came out of its sheath. Look at this. It looks pretty good, yo. This was before. Even that looks all right, but see how it's not so... Not so shiny. This is after. That looks pretty good. This African, this African pet dog is pretty nice. Nice deep color, red color. I like it. Well, let me do the other side. I'll be right back. Giving the uh, second side a final 300 grit sanding. Looking pretty good. I think that's it. Yeah, buddy. I put a little bit of my little mixture in here and uh, shine it up. This right here is a um, beeswax and uh, beeswax and linseed oil mix. Got it from my book and it seems to be working pretty good. Probably shouldn't put it on my fingers, but I wipe it off real good. See, I brought out that, that wood grain. That looks pretty maroon. I like that. Looks good. Let's do the other side. Okay, okay. Easy, easy. Don't get angry. I'm gonna do this right here. Lift it up, put it back in, squeeze it down. 
my little rig I got going. Let's do this other side. That's gonna last me forever. It's all that's all I use right there. Per handle. I gotta knock out this glue. Came right out. There it is. All tiny. All nice and tiny. I really like the way that paddock looks. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, remember, I'm taking these knives over to a gun show in Burleson this weekend. If you're in the North Texas area, come buy one from me. I appreciate it. Here it is. All pretty and stuff. Oh, here's the blade itself. That seems to be my new style right there. I like the way this... Uh, style looks it's easy to make for me with the tools that i have and uh nice and light about six inches long easy to carry there's one remember i showed you these other ones here's a uh, this pet up wood brass and 1080 steel leopard wood here this is a super hard winch. Did a little file work here. Four pins on this one. That's like my max on pins. Never did that many before. Except for this one too. But, uh, four pins. Um, got this one. Leopard wood. Leopard wood. Cherry wood. Osage, and then these two that are optionally in sheath already. This little sunburst one, and uh, this little guy right here. He's got a little short, stubby handle. Easy to easy to grip, push, whittle. On these, I got a nice little design on the sheet. Yep. Yeah, buddy. That's it. Let me know if you want one. I'll, uh, right now it's time. It's Thursday. I'm making sheets, so if you want one, your name on it or something, let me know. I'll make it for you. I'll make it happen. I guess that's it for now.